I'm gonna do is unpack these. I got myself a few more pink markers for different brands. And I forgot to unpack these. Okay, so fix things first. Right, I need to open the chat. Uh, I'm a bit unprepared today. There we go. Chat opened. Cardboard and plastic can be tossed. First gonna finish this ivy saw I'm working on. Hmm. Is there a way for me to twist these? Put it back. There we go. Should have a bit more space now. Well, it'll do for now. I can almost put that one over here. No, nope. I can't put it over here. There we go. More space, leg space. Um, before I forget again, I have some white left here. Put away what you're working on. I'm emptying tubes into little jars because I prefer jars over tubes. And I need a little bit of water. Where's my pipettes? Here's my pipettes. I forgot to take my empty little jar along. You can go down again. This one's getting fungi, so let's remove it. It's been a while since I did a stream, a cross stream. I did some crafting off screen, but just too much happening at the same time. Um, I'm going to use you because I need to make a little bit light paint. And I keep on thinking there's a lot of noise outside. Yeah, well, there is a lot of noise outside, but it's gardeners working in the neighbor's garden, which is fine. It always, it's a bit noisy because of that. So if you hear some weird bonking, I don't expect you to, but just in case, here's some weird bonking. That's just from my neighbors. Okay, this was already a mixed li uh, lighter, but wasn't light enough. So I'm gonna take some from here. How about I don't drop it? That's why I like working on silicone mat, so I can easily clean it. And I'm just reusing an old little cup that still has some dark blue paint in it. So I need quite some white. These little silicone steering sticks were technically for my, uh, what's it called again? Wax seals, but I have plenty of those. Uh, there we go. Why am I cleaning the steering stick? And these seals hold way too much water and then they get funky. So better just toss them straight away. Okay, and let's grab some of my diluted white paint. I 
still have plenty of white paint, so I can always put some thick white paint in there. Oh, this is already way too dark. Luckily, I still have some white paint over here. And it's quite thick. I wasn't really using that that much, so let's touch you in here. I have plenty of these silicone sticks, so I can... Well, I have five of them, I believe. So I can use one for paint. They're easy to clean, so I can still use it for other crafts. Okay. Needs to be way lighter. Because it dries up darker. Do I have some white over here? Nope, nope, nope. Um, this is very old paint, crunchy, but still a bit fluid. Let's first get the crunchy bit out of there. Otherwise, I'll mix in crunchy bits into my paint. Oh, it's actually moldy. Never had that happen before, but... I can probably... I cannot use this for paint right now. But I am going to see if I can salvage it later on. Because if it's moldy paint, it's probably only at the top. So I can scrape that off then. Okay, so I was looking for white paint. Eggshell, well, that's white enough. How are you? Also, I need to take my time salvaging those. So I'll just grab... Where did it little? Ah, I keep on dropping everything. Where did the little lid go? Where did the little lid go? There it is. All the way over here. Right. Is this dried out? I think this is dried out. Well, I wanted to clean up my paint, so... Doing a great job. Yep, completely dried out. Okay, well... I probably have some more white in this. This is white. I do save the lid. A little cap. In case I one day lose something. And then I can... Reuse the lid. So I sometimes save a little bit of lid. Okay, this is a new one, so. Like I said, I need to make it a lot lighter. This is quite thick paint. Hardly any change in color. 
but that's because it's chunky. There we go, slowly breaking it up. Now we're getting a nice color. I'm gonna pick some of the dark ones, dark paint from the lid. It does always dry a lot darker. Yeah, this is a nice color, I think. Let's grab my paint stuff but where is my little mermaid oh right in front of my nose didn't have to get up and just checking on taurus yep that one is eh. yeah that one is ready to get its base so i can do that as well um let's see i'm gonna grab an extra tray drying tray just so I have a little bit more space I'm gonna need this soon enough okay but first because this part is done uh, this part is done and these need to be lighter, but it just won't get the paint just kept on being dark, so probably needs a couple of layers. Let's get this steering stick out of the way. Ah. <sighs> It should be better. Camera management uh, will be done when the studio is pretty much done. And that is getting nearer that moment. But I still have too much to do. So the second part will probably be a cleanup stream. There we go. You can dry. Needs a couple of coats, but that's okay. There's a stray hair here. And I get a message that I need to take care of for a moment. And what I need is not in this spot. So um, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to grab something and that's going to take a short while. So I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I do need to do something on my computer, which are, is not allowed to be on screen. So do give me a moment. Oh, system is so slow. Everything in the, with the computer is slow today. All the internets. Sometimes private matters just pop up. Not a, it's not something bad or anything. Just takes away from streaming time. Okay, so this can close and back to the screen over here. Access paint. Okay, and then this one can dry quite a bit lot of a uh, lot of paint maybe a bit too much I did put my cleaning rag into the washing machine and I forgot to take it along so back to paper This rag is almost full, so I need to get another one, but okay. You go dry. Then I'm going to continue this because this one's almost done. So maybe I can spray paint it today. And thank you and hello. I'm sorry if this is a bit off camera, but this is very tedious work in a good way, by the way, but you just can't see what you're doing. I really like how this Ivysaur pin or actually Ivysaur print turned out and the paints so I am going to make this into a pin and then actually use it um, get it into the little crevice and even when you're done with the side you need to go over the top again not sure how much of this bronze paint I still have you can't really see it in these closed barrels Oh uh, boy. Need some fixing. So yeah, the first part will be painting. A few things resonating probably. But 
hopefully someday I can resin this and turn it into a pin. Or at least resin it. It doesn't have to be a pin for the preview image. I oh, am yeah. messing up big time. Oh, that isn't a good one. Well, can't turn it back. There's no control Z. So I'll just have to redo that part. We already had that promotion of the paint marker, so I already have that one. Haven't tried it out just yet, haven't even unpacked it yet. Now there's other crevice or inside. Okay. Almost there, almost there. I do wonder if I will get another copyright claim on the AI background music. Sure, I can protest it, put up a, but uh, that's actually such a hassle. So, sorry, I'm a bit off screen. Like I said, camera management will come. I'm pretty much done with my studio. So it's probably going to be in the summer. Then you can look at how I can improve my camera angle. I just need to be a little bit closer. But the boom arm I have isn't really... Yeah, I can pull it closer. Well, if you don't hear any music, that's fine. And I won't have a copyright claim anyway. I put it very soft. But anyway, the boom arm is just actually is slightly too short. Almost round. Oh, but missed a few. Missed an entire part.
Okay, did I get everything? Missed the spot. Okay. This poor brush is heading towards the end of its life. Hair is getting frayed all the time, but at least it's being used. I have plenty of brushes, so I don't need to grab another one just yet. I'll buy another one. This can go in here. I need... I don't really like working with acrylic markers, but it's doing great. I always keep on thinking someone's going to walk inside, but that's just the neighbors in their garden. Anyway, the acrylic markers are fine for the backs. I know some people really love working with them. I do like that they dry very quickly. So this is done. You know, let's put you. I had uh, probably had this one because I had plenty of paint. This oval was made from one of my circular stands and just elongated. So there, if you have the basic basis, you already have this oval. Here we go. Like I said, I have plenty of this color, so. Before I get back to the little parts, let's continue these. Blue's almost done already. Don't have much of this blue left. I wanted to, to grab this paint from the tube, but unfortunately the tube will just wouldn't open and then at the bottom it tore, so I just had to put everything in one in my small containers, little jars. Which is fine, of course. I mean, that's why I have them. I just prefer using them on mixed paint instead of unmixed paint. But hey, that's how I keep on saving my paint. So this uh, great bowl is almost done. Look 
can I still use just a little bit of white left? I now have two jars of white paint. One is my perfect blend that I just used for the, if I need to make highlights, it's just the nice viscosity and nice opacity. And, uh, well, let's call it the basic junk white. Be careful not to accidentally touch the blue. I think this is about as much white as I can get from here. Which is fine. I mean, like I said, I have a lot of uh, the, well, diluted white. Probably needs another layer of white. Oh, this is actually a nice white. Now, uh, here's the lid. Uh, red, 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 red. red it's lovely paint but the opacity is not that perfect okay um let's put you over here with the wet paint
this was technically a misprint, but uh, I'll just make the picture so you can't really see it's a misprint. I mean, why waste it? It's just needed for preview. Still, the paint doesn't dry that great just yet here. Still too cold for that. Still needs about two days of drying time. So this one is technically almost done. Still a few impurities in the ring. But the text balloon just needs quite a lot more layers. Hence, so when I'm out of my cheap paint, I'm gonna buy the good stuff. Let's see, where is my... And now I need my bigger brush. Because I need to go all around but i need to dab it on very carefully and this is very tedious work as you can see still needs a couple of layers of white and most paints dry in about a day some paints need two days so hopefully i can stream sunday again crossing fingers I know it's Easter Sunday, but I mean, not everyone celebrates it, not everyone goes somewhere. So hopefully I can stream as well. And then maybe I can do a double stream again. Double streams are just so I can get a bit more backlog. And I still have plenty. I mean, I've, I've scheduled until June. But for example, uh, the stream, there are a couple of streams I'm going to not be able to do on a Thursday because I got invited back at a museum to give workshops. And of course, AnimeCon, which makes me very happy, by the way. 
I know it doesn't sound like this, but I'm focused on this little ring. Because I need to be focused to just make sure it's nice and that goes all the way around the round, right? The side, the ring. Okay, okay, this one is done. Then we go to Ally's coin. Let's first do the ring as well. And I know this blue isn't really a lies blue, but and uh, the purple is a bit too dark. But I didn't want to mix another color just for a lie. Probably gonna need the light blue I already mixed for Sienna. The mermaid for the record. Almost round. Those rings are the most tedious things. Then we're around. Hopefully, it's the last layer. This is just a plain paint, but not in the big huge tube. it there we go now this one needed a little bit of fixing and then it would be done uh where is the i believe it was the rich bronze double check yep it was the double uh, the rich bronze this is mayonaka's coin I did notice that the book is uh, backwards mirrored. 
Um, I don't care that the book is backwards mirrored. If people are really bothered by it, they can always mirror the print. Bet you can do that. I guess I read so much manga that I didn't even know, realize it was being mirrored until it was printed. Ooh, okay, a um, little bit of fixing. So hopefully I can varnish spray this today. And then I can resonate. I think I'm going to make uh, Sunday a resin day. Because there are a few things that are ready to be resined. Nah, just one thing. I already resined uh, last week, I think. Um, this one still needs fixing. And that reminds me because it's the same kind of green bloop message message uh, uh, I need to pee I need to pee the letter P for the record that's what you get for putting everything on your keyboard a partial was delivered so uh, I'm gonna when I'm gonna take my break I'm gonna check it out there we go And this is a very bright, lovely, bright green. It just has an opacity of like minus three. It doesn't layer nicely. It gets all chunky and rough. It is very matte, by the way. But everything's going to get glowy anyway with me, so... And today, tomorrow is my day off, a birthday day off. And I'm probably going to use it for cleanup. Baking. That's a tradition. And I'm not even baking for myself. I'm baking for my husband's job. Because I don't really ever treat at my work I should be doing that but I'm not going to do it for my birthday I'm just there's going to be a day when I'm like I'm going all out for all the years that I missed and now you guys least expect it I'm not a birthday girl anymore so well technically I'm still today but I don't really like celebrating my birthday anymore it's much too much hassle I'm 
I mean, each time I took something along to my work to treat, there weren't any people or they didn't like what I brought. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm not going to bring cookies and then have to eat it three weeks later on because people didn't like it. Okay, maybe our coin is done now. Well, if party is an excuse to have friends over, I don't need a party to invite my friends. So I just say, just come over if you want to. Uh, might be nice if I know when you're coming so I can make sure I have something in my house. But also with celebrations, you buy a lot of stuff and then people don't like it, don't want it. And three weeks later, you're still eating it. Um, this needs this paint. Or I got complaints. Why didn't you buy? And then you buy it and it's like, but I don't like it. So yeah, that's why I stopped doing birthdays. So if people want to give me a gift for my birthday, they don't even have to wait till it's my birthday. I forgot to do you, so good thing I noticed it. Really looking forward in creating a pin out of this Ivysaur. Ivysaur isn't even my favorite Pokemon. Bulbasaur is, but the Bulbasaur pin uh, image just didn't really meet my expectations. Let's call it like that. You can dry again. Now you're going to need a little bit more time. Okay. Let's return to Gemini. I think one more coat of blue and yellow. And this paint really takes two days to dry. Probably because I'm slabbing it on so thick. So that's probably my mistake, but... Uh, does lay on nicely. Did treat myself today by ordering a few more silicone stamps. Because I notice I don't really have a lot of stamps just yet. I have enough cutting dies to give workshops. Enough paint. But I actually didn't have that much silicone stamps. Already got a lot from a friend. So I'm very grateful for that. Just wanted a few generic ones. So when those arrive I will probably show it. I'm going to make a silicone stamp binder. So I can put all the silicone stamps on sheets and then put that in a binder. Don't think I'm going to need a big one. But I still have a few A5 five binders, so maybe I'm going to use that. Not sure yet. Just thoughts. This is this metallic farm uh, farbe, metallic paint from the kick. Probably not gonna go there in a, for a while anymore. Did a file a complaint with their customer source, but they didn't even bother responding because when I was there, they were rushing me so much that I accidentally 
forgot to take some of my perches along and they were helping the other the next customer right over my head while i was packaging so i did give them plenty of time to uh respond over a month but uh, they didn't uh, respond at all so well then yeah i'm not gonna get there anymore when the solo uh had conned me it almost took two years before i stepped inside there again but still i check my purchases very carefully over there and what the solo did was they uh when i wanted to return something uh they claimed i paid by cash so they could round up the money that they would uh, have to return me when i had a return and i was like no i paid with cards i paid the exact amount so you're not going to shortchange me uh, with my return money i mean it was legal tender if you pay 4.99 you don't want 4.95 back and i'm okay with single cents because those are still used in france so i have a little address where i can dump these oops don't put your finger into the paint so the eventually they just well, one time they actually tossed a cent to me. And the other time they were like, why are you still making a hassle? Here, have that cent. And then they rounded up to the other side. So I had, I believe, two cents profit. And I'm like, you're not going to shortchange me because if you do it with me and you do it with every other customer, those cents are going to uh, add up quite quickly. And I bought uh, measuring cups that were dishwasher safe. And then I put them in the dishwasher and they returned as very clean glasses. All the measuring lines were gone. And luckily, I was allowed to return those. I'm like, how am I going to prove that this just washed off in the dishwasher? So I was very fortunate. Customer service believed me. I have some white here, uh, white, yellow doesn't need much more these are the may freebies by the way to be honest most of the solo is either overpriced chinese junk Or just very crappy stuff. Most of the things I see at the solo, I also see at AliExpress. So, had that with the action as well. Okay. Um, you are drying. At least the fin is a lighter color now. Same on. I don't really go that often. Oh, wait, still had some yellow. Um, but that's just because they just don't have what I want, need, whatever you want to call it. Sea stars. Seriously, all those tiny things are so annoying to paint. I do recommend printing it bigger. This was just a standard size. 
What's this orange? It's pink. Oh, almost forgot you. You were orange as well. Uh, okay. This was orange, same orange. This was a reddish pink. This was a pink pink. And these are just gray. Also don't mind going to the Vibra. Vibra is also uh, one of those cheap stores like Zeman. And at least, yeah, th there's a girl behind the counter who has a resting bee face. But she never made a mistake. She's always polite. She just always looks like she doesn't want to be there. As for Zeeman, yeah, um, I once went there for buying yarn indeed to make a doll hair, which I still need to do. I have a whole big case filled with yarn to turn into hair, but that will come when I have time and peace again to start my dolls again. But uh, a diamond painting of a little dinosaur over there, which I'm going to do on stream because it's small. Bought some glow in the dark paint, which I still need to try out. So I sometimes do look there for crafts, craft supplies. And nowadays they also have a second hand store, Kringloop, in my mall. You can only pay in cash or make a, a bank transfer over there, so that's not very handy. But it's a second hand store, so you just look for cheap stuff there. Did find action paint over there and it was more expensive than in the action itself and it was open so yeah When these are done, I'm going to start another. What's the time? It's two o'clock. Okay. So this is going to be a bit longer before I start my cleanup. I think I'm going to cut it in two. So maybe I can do the three streams today. Because I still have plenty to do and plenty to paint. But it's only two o'clock. So, if I'm early, uh, done sooner with painting, I'm just going to uh, start cleaning up. So, I'm just going to finish this piece. And then I'm going to uh, turn off the stream. And then turn on the stream again. So, I'll be gone like four minutes or so, maybe less. So, 
I'll be right back. And if I don't see you, uh, this is uh, on uh, YouTube, then I'll be seeing you next week. Bye-bye.